guys welcome back to my channel and today we are back with another video when it comes to my favorite stuff from k-pop music this year and today we are doing my favorite b-sides of course like the title tracks they serve the purpose of being called title tracks they're the face of the album and what the album represents b-sides are the glue of everything like b-sides are where it's at they do a little more hard carrying I'll, I'll say that there are a lot of good b-sides this year from so many artists and i did a ranking of my favorites of course i would like to reiterate what i said in my favorite tile tracks video and just apply it to here as well you know if a b-side from a certain artist is not on here like you know it's not that I hated the song. It's definitely not because I hate the artist, okay? So don't do that. It just didn't have the strongest appeal to me and it's not gonna be on this list. And I also apply the way how my favorite B-sides are ranked. I'm not trying to be pretentious. Like if a certain song is lower than some other B-sides on the list, it's nothing against the artist. It's just my ranking and this is how like I ranked it. Ranking can definitely be hard. I still do it. I still do it. Yeah, without further ado, take a look at some of my favorite B-sides that came out this year. Saturday trip, one, two, three, go to pick. Hey, Saturday trip, me and my clique, we go to pick. In the night, 끝이 없는 어둠 사이, 내 생각 속에 잠겼음을 씌었을 때. Go 